to Badminton Community, it's Henry and Jeff bringing you a review on the Yonex Astrox 77. Why? Because we want to give you all you need to know about the latest and greatest badminton rackets. Now in all of our racket reviews, we assess rackets on 5 main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. So these metrics are feeling and handling, control, power, speed and aesthetics. The Astrox 77 is designed for players looking to produce steep smashes with a combination of key technologies including the relatively new NAMD graphite and rotational generator system. It is used by the young female women's single star of Korea who has a world ranking of 9 at the time of recording, An Se Young. Now we tested the 3U version of the racket which is 89 grams in weight and we tested it with Yonex BG80 string strung at 26 pounds. So what did we think about it? It's reasonably swift through the air and easy to handle with the assistance of the rotational generator system. Although you can definitely feel that it's head heavy. Now the control of the racket is, is really solid from the head heaviness. It helps you follow through and time the shuttle quite well. And then when you contact the shuttle itself, it feels quite hard but it is quite natural as well. Now, because it is a head heavy racket and weighs 89 grams, it is quite easy to generate power with overheads and drives and lifts. But because of the heavy head, we did find it harder for quick flicks where there's not much backswing. Now, also being head heavy, you'd probably expect that, that it would be quite a bit slower than other rackets in terms of its speed, but it actually wasn't really that slow. And the momentum that you create when you're in the right position actually makes up for that slight delay in speed because you've got a bit more power and momentum through the swing. And finally, in terms of the looks, well, it's ugly as f That being said, there are three paint jobs available that you can select from. So depending on the paint job, we, we might be giving it a different score. So overall, for feeling and handling, we gave this 7.5 out of 10. For control, we gave it 8.5 out of 10. For power, 8.5 as well. Uh, 7 out of 10 for speed. And based on how it looks of this version of the paint job, we gave it a 4 out of 10. And that gives us a total of 35.5 out of 50. We do feel it's a little bit of a harsh rating as well because it does play quite well. But it's the 4 out of 10 score that really brought the overall rating of the racket down. Now, so who's it for? We think it's for a rear court doubles player as it's relatively powerful and the shot accuracy is high, while it's still relatively fast for a head heavy racket for those faster exchanges. It'd definitely be considered to be a good racket for a singles player as well. And it reminds us a little bit of the, the classic Armatech 700 in the way that it plays. Now, it's probably not for front court doubles players who need that really fast maneuverability or for those who are lacking forearm strength and power, given that the overall weight of the racket is a 3 or 89 grams with this particular one. So, look, if you're someone who needs a racket that allows you to smash your heart out, but also lets you keep up with those fast exchanges, then this is definitely a racket that you can consider. And at around the 200 Australian dollar mark, it wouldn't be a horrible choice. So, try, buy, or deny? We think try. But if it were us, definitely not this paint job. If a simple and elegant paint job is what you're after, you really should check out the Volant Rogue S1, which is our sleek matte black racket. Thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed the review or found it useful, be sure to jump smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and share it with your badminton community. And to see the latest racket reviews that we release, make sure you do subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Ding! Thanks for watching. See you guys. Ding! Ding!